Hey guys, I just got done with the horoscope bowls and uh, they're not going up till tomorrow. Um, I just really feel strongly that that's when they should go up. So you'll have to wait one more day for those. Um, but I, I just, I was so into that beautiful hyper energy that I just kind of burnt myself out. <laughs> I know better than to do a collective energy reading than do the all 12 signs, uh, horoscopes, even though they're quick, uh, you know, they're straight to the point about what's coming in the mega influences that you need to be aware of. Uh, it's still draining, <laughs> still draining, but so I'm getting ready to put all my stuff away. And all of a sudden I heard you have one more to do. And I'm like, no, I, Oh wait, did I forget one sign? You know, I'm worried about that. And then it was messages from spirit. So I was going to ignore it, but you know, all that instinct. So here we go. I don't know who needs this. I think we all do. But anyway, this is from Spirit Universe to Higher Power or Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels to us. Okay. So they have me pull from two different uh, Oracle decks. Uh, this is a Sacred Destiny by Denise Lind. Fulfillment. Action. Inner peace. fulfillment open your heart to it open your heart to receive you've made all this room all these changes you've you've uh, you know cut out things that no longer serve you've released yourself from toxic uh, situations you know people places things open your heart now to let the stuff in that you've been wanting you have to open that up you have to you d dare to be happy dare to be happy I dare you. I dare you to allow this new stuff in. Take that chance. Take that. Take that chance. But but you have to show action. Actions speak way louder than words. They really do. But you have to do something. You know. Look forward. Look ahead. Don't don't look at those past mistakes. Don't look at the past hurts. The past fuckery. <laughs> Don't look at that. Yeah, that's you're not even that's not who you are now in this moment. Look now and forward. Because you're not going backwards. The universe is chugging you away from that, obviously. And be at peace with that, with the inner peace. Everything you've experienced this year up to this point was all geared. To get you where you are right now. To move forward. So let go and flow. Just let it, let go. Be free. Let yourself be free. Take out the, the, the box const, uh, constraints. You know? The ego brings in. Low self-worth. Low self-esteem. Confidence. Let go. Be free. Swing. Play. Be free. You are you can do this now. Yeah, we have responsibilities. Sure we do. You know? But they're just things that we can handle throughout the day. You know? We don't have to let them, you know, rule our moods for the whole day. If we want to be happy, we can be happy. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. I want to go play. So we have to learn balance there, don't we? That perfect balance, which we got coming in really strong with that, you know, from the forecast, that Libra energy, the justice energy, the balancing of the scales. I don't know who this message is for. If it resonates, take that. But I really was very, I mean, as tired as I am, I was very pushed, or <laughs> I should say encouraged uh, by spirit to get that message out there. It, you're right at the finish line. You're at the finish line. Everything. You've wanted something for so long. Or there's things you've wanted. You want to flip your life. Well, it's flipping. It's flipping now. Just got to open up to it. Open your heart and dare to be happy. Ooh. Take that chance. You know better now. You don't have to worry about you know, oh, what if I get, uh, this happens again? And what if that, you, the people coming in, 
You gotten rid of all your toxic people? Yeah. If you didn't, then I'd be a little concerned with that and have to work on that, right? Action to create it. Create the space so you can bring in that good people, the good energies. And you'll feel at peace with yourself. If you don't feel an inner peace in certain areas of your life, then you got to look and see where the misbalance is. Is it you? Is it, is it a situation that you know needs to, you need to break away from or change? You'd be open. Look forward, not back. Don't worry about that past stuff. That past stuff isn't being repeated. That's what this whole cycle is about for all of us here on Earth. <laughs> Lovely 2020. It's time for us to put all our little insecurities and programming kind of the wayside care about what other people think. And let go and flow and be, be our freaking beautiful selves. You know, don't worry. Especially in love for some of you. I feel like I have to reiterate this again and I always bring this up is... Your person's going to be attracted to who you really are. Your authentic self is what's going to draw them to you. They're going to feel that instant connection. They're going to look and go, you. It's you. That, that's the one. They're going to jive with you. They may not even get that right away. But they're going to have this pull, this magnetic pull. You're the person, your right person, is going to just find you so gorgeous or handsome and amazing because you are who you really are and you're not afraid to be otherwise and it's beautiful and you should be that way you're amazing and you got this so remember open your heart remember the past in the past we're done we're done with all that crap now it's time to embrace the stuff that we've been asking for and just remember, we are wiser now than we were before. We don't have to put up a defense, but we don't have to allow anything in that we don't we know doesn't jive with our vibe. There is the wisdom. <laughs> okay, guys. You don't want to inadvertently block the new stuff in because you're defensive, right? Jives with your vibe. So on that note, guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful night and a great Monday morning. It's going to be a really good week. And I'll have those horoscopes up sometime in the morning. And I will get to everybody's readings as soon as possible. I'm so sorry. I just, I drained myself. <laughs> I really felt somebody needed that message. So, you know what? I think I needed it too. On that note, guys, sending you lots of love and thank you for your support and your patience. And yeah. Putting up my blathering. I appreciate it. <laughs> so on that note, guys, have a wonderful night. Take care. You rock.